guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to do my pregnancy update for weeks 29 and 30, which is so crazy. 30 just seems so far along. I mean, it is, especially with twins because it's like, now I feel like I can deliver whenever. I mean, I don't want to deliver. You want to go 34, I want to make it to 34 weeks. Um, 36 is the goal, but it's just crazy. So today I'm going to update you guys on how I've been feeling, all my symptoms. I feel like I have a lot to talk about in this video. I have some baby gear to share with you. And yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy today's video and let's get into it. So the past two weeks have been uh, back to my hormonal self. I was super emotional the first trimester. It went away the second trimester and it's back. Um, I'm not an emotional person. I never cry. I mean, I cry, but like I don't cry during movies. Andrew cries more than I do. We were watching, what movie were we watching? What were we watching? The Lake, no. Big Hero 6? I don't know. We were watching a Disney movie or something and Andrew was crying and he looks at me he's like, how are you not crying right now? But, so it's just weird to be emotional over things and I can't control it. Before, like in the first trimester, I would cry during commercials and stuff and now it's whenever I think about the babies actually being here, I can get super emotional like on the spot. Um, just thinking like, I think all of a sudden the, this week it just really hit me that it's so soon and I think I kind of mentioned this in my Instagram post but this whole pregnancy I've been slightly terrified I don't know if I want to say terrified but just nervous because there was so many things that could have gone wrong um, with my type of twins which is mono dye they're sharing a placenta there's just a lot that can happen because they're sharing all their nutrients. So um, sometimes one baby can be getting more than the other. And I have just been so blessed this entire pregnancy. They have been growing the same rate the entire time. Right now they are only one ounce apart from each other, which is wild. And I think my second to last appointment, they were the same weight. So I just, uh, I don't know. It's kind of been surreal because every time like I go to the doctor, I'm always like, hoping nothing's wrong and everything's always great with them. So I think now I'm, I'm kind of out of that um, d danger zone, I guess you could say, where, um, you know, like you can develop TTTS and all that stuff. I'm out of that. So I'm well out of that now. Um, so I think now I just am kind of realizing like, oh my gosh, like this is just gonna happen very soon and just crept up on me all of a sudden. So, and especially like when I took the tags off of all their clothes and started washing everything, it just made everything feel so real. And I feel like when I was in the 20s, it seemed like I still had so much time to go. The second I hit 30, it was just like, whoa. Also so random, but I just got my hair done yesterday and I added more, I got more um, blonde on the ends. They just like bleached it a little bit more. I wanted it a little bit brighter. I've just been feeling kind of gross lately, so I needed something to make me feel good again. And a lot of you guys ask like what I do for um, getting my hair done while pregnant. I've only had it done one other time. I never have them touch, touch my roots. I just have them touch the ends. And I do go to a Nevada salon, so the dye is um, a little bit better for you. So crazy, I made a list of things that we need to do. We need to get our car seats installed. I need to um, hang up the baby monitors. I have one monitor and then I got a separate camera because I think I might need to use two. And then I need to hang all their pictures up on the wall. Like we have a bunch of prints and stuff. I need to hang those up and pack my hospital bag. I wrote a lot of stuff down for week. This was 29 weeks, five days, so a couple days ago. I also have been more moody and just sensitive over things. Like if Andrew will say something, it'll just like rub me the wrong way and I'll just be like, <sighs> but I just know that it's my hormones. Um, so I try to just like cool it, but yeah, things definitely just make me more irritated. I've been getting a lot more Braxton Hicks contractions. Andrew and I went to a birthing class 
and uh, it was good. It was, we were also doing a newborn class next Thursday. Uh, the birthing class was like a mix of a bunch of things. It was talking about breathing techniques and what actually goes on during delivery, like the ins and outs of the whole process, like what to expect type of thing. And it was nice to just kind of see everything. And I think it was good for Andrew to just kind of be a little bit more aware. I'm trying to think like what else we talked about. I don't know. It was just nice. I'm more excited for the newborn class just to feel more prepared, I guess, because once you actually have the babies, you know, you're not surrounded by a giant crew of people helping you. You're just, it's just you. That's the other thing that I've kind of realized since it's twins. Um, a lot of my books have said there's gonna be like a ton of people in the room with you. Not like family, but like nurses and people watching and um, so that'll be kind of interesting. But it'll be in an OR no matter what. So it'll just be Andrew in there with me, but I don't know. It'll be, it'll be weird. Right now, baby A is still head down, but baby B is transverse. So she's laying sideways up like on, on my, like, like baby A, baby B, kind of like in a seven. So the doctor said that if baby A is head down, then we can try for vaginal delivery, which I want to. Uh, and then it just depends what happens with baby B, but they can deliver baby B breach, which kind of is yikes. But um, he kind of, he wasn't worried. So I don't know, we'll see what happens, but I would like to have a vaginal birth if I can, if, it, if that's possible just for recovery purposes and whatnot. So I'm hoping that that all works out. But, but I'm not like strict on things, you know, people have like their birth plan and everything, which is fine. And I think if you're having just one baby, like that's a great idea. But for me, it's kind of like, I'm leaving it up to the doctor and whatever he says, <clears throat> is safe for the babies, that's what I'm gonna do. My doctor said to call if I get more than five contractions an hour right now. I'm at the moment, oh my God, I keep like burping all the time. Andrew's always like, what is going on over there? I'm like, I don't know. Um, but it, like everything just kind of tightens up and I get like lumps in my stomach, like all around. And I'm trying to think how often I get them. It's not every hour, but then sometimes it's more, sometimes it's like three an hour, sometimes it's none an hour. So they're not consistent right now, they're kind of random. And it definitely happens more if I have to go pee uh, and drinking a ton of water helps a lot. So the doula who was teaching the birthing class was saying, like a lot of the times people come in for contractions and they just hook you up to an IV and you're dehydrated. So she was saying, you know, if you're feeling a lot, just chug a ton of water and that should help a little bit. So as far as the weight goes, they are three pounds, five ounces and three pounds, six ounces. That was last Thursday when they did the measurements. And um, it's just great. I, I can't believe they're that big. Like that just feels really big to me. And the doctor actually was showing me, I didn't even know he was doing this. And all of a sudden I look on the screen and a 3D image was up a baby bee's face. And I was just like, oh my God. And he's like, yeah, look how cool this is. I didn't even know he was doing it. He was just kind of like playing around. And it was so bizarre. Like it just was so real. I couldn't even believe it. When I showed Andrew, he was just like, oh my gosh, like that's them. So it was, I asked the doctor, I'm like, so the other one just looks the same, right? And he's like, yeah, pretty much. So as far as food goes, I've been eating a lot. No, not a lot more during the day. Like, I mean, I feel like I eat the same amount as I was eating before now because I get full pretty fast and I just am not as hungry as I was last trimester, which I'm happy about because I've gained. So I started out at 125 and now I'm at 161, which is so crazy to me. So gained a lot of weight, but I'm, I'm like on track. So he wants, my doctor wants me to gain around 45 pounds. So I have, you know, about like, I don't know, 10 or so more to go, but the nice thing was the last time I went to the doctor, I had gained two pounds, but the babies each gained a pound. So the babies were gaining all the weight. So that made me feel really good. So I think they're just kind of taking everything right now. I have been craving a lot more sweets, 
which is bad. I know it's not good, but man, everything sugary just sounds so good to me. In the beginning of the pregnancy, I was craving a lot of, a lot of salty foods, and now I just want everything sweet. I do feel a little bit of pressure down there now, every now and then, not a ton, but I think they're they're still pretty high. My doctor said the cervix, my cervix is still good. It's not. Um, there's nothing to worry about yet because I was telling him I have felt some pressure, um, kind of mainly when I go to the bathroom, but he wasn't worried about that at all yet. The movement that I feel now is a lot different. It's not really, I mean, sometimes I do feel strong kicks, but it's more so just like a rolling movement. Like if you can imagine what a whale is like in the water, that's kind of what it looks like from the surface. It just looks like lumps kind of moving like this. Uh, sometimes I'll just feel like if this is my stomach, I'll just feel like a lump kind of come to the surface and then it'll stay there and then it'll slowly go down and then I'll feel it over here. Like I just feel lumps coming up. So I feel like they're just, they're running out of room and it's really bizarre to feel that though. Like I just feel like, like their little feet kind of moving and it's all over my stomach. It's not just like one side, it's just like all over. So I'll be looking and it's, yeah, it's crazy. My sleep has still been really crappy. I, um, I try to go to bed a little bit later now and I, I drink that calm stuff. It's like the magnesium supplement, the natural calm, but I don't feel like it helps a ton. I was taking Benadryl, a I, I took it two nights because I got a really bad cold two weeks ago and that knocked me out. But I don't want to be taking Benadryl every night and I don't want to count on that to go to bed. So I stopped taking that. It was just because I was super stuffy, congested, and I just like couldn't sleep at all. But the doctor said it was safe to take. Um, but yeah, sleep is just like I'm, I'm either up every couple hours to go to the bathroom or I'm just up because I'm uncomfortable and I don't really know what to do. So sometimes I'll just like wake up and go get water and just sit there. It just feels way better to sit upright than it does to lay down. For my back, I got a cheap heating pad from Target and I just put that on my lower back at night when I'm watching TV and then I'll switch between my shoulders and that helps a lot. And just taking like a hot shower, taking baths helps a lot. And I also went in to, Andrew's a physical therapist, so I went in one night and just, he just worked on my back a little bit and then I put the heating pad there on. So I might go in to his office, like maybe once a week just to have him work on my back because if I go in to his work, he will do it, but not at home. <laughs> because when he's at home, he doesn't want to do anything related to work. My feet have started to swell a little bit. I, I kept looking like every day and I was like, no, not today, but now they just look full and puffy. Uh, my ankles are still fine. I'm just looking at my feet, but usually you can see like all the veins in my feet and now they're just full and not all of my shoes fit either. Like my Vans are super tight. My shoes just feel a lot tighter. So here are the two books that I've been reading. This is the Healthy Sleep Habits, Happy Twins. I'm, I just kind of started this, so I have a lot more to read in that. And then this one is from a friend. It's what to do when you're having two. I love this book. I have gone through this so fast. I'm more than halfway done and I just started reading it. It's nice because it's written by a mom of twins and it's, it's so easy to read. Like my last book that I read, What to Expect When Expecting Multiples, was written by a couple of doctors. So it was a lot more like medical based and that sort of thing, which I did really appreciate. But this one's nice because it's just real advice, real tips. It was saying like a lot of your friends are going to want to come over and just like chat and hang out. <clears throat> and it was saying don't do that because th when they leave, you're going to start crying and be like, oh my gosh, I could have been doing this and this. I have so much to do. So it said, you know, when somebody comes over, have them help you, have them do something with you so that you're not just like wasting time. Or if somebody says, let's go get coffee, say, you can bring me coffee. So it's kind of like, she's just kind of saying, you need to really learn to ask for things because 
Uh, people are gonna offer you help and you need to actually take it and take them up on it. Okay, let me show you guys some new products that I got. So I got two Daca Tots and I'm so excited about them. These were the one thing that I was like really wanting the most. I don't know why exactly, but I've seen them so much on social media and I've heard so many people just say that they are awesome. So I got the white one, obviously. I just get everything in white. The Docatot Deluxe. So if you haven't seen these before, they've just kind of, they're pretty new to the market. And this is for zero to eight months. And your babies lay in here. <clears throat> and it's nice because they don't move. They don't go anywhere. So you can put that in between. Um, I can put it in between Andrew and I when we sleep. I don't know, because since there's two, we have one bassinet though, so I'm kind of, I didn't want to buy two bassinets because it's from Pottery Barn, it's super expensive. I'm like, I don't want, I don't want to buy two. So one baby could sleep in there for a little bit. One can sleep in this. I have two of the rock and plays. So we have kind of options right now. I just don't really exactly know what's going to happen if either of them are going to have, you know, acid reflux or something like that. So we will see but i heard that i got two of these so i heard that these are really nice to just they're because they're lightweight so you can carry them around the house and then i did get two covers for them as well so these are the deluxe spare covers i think it's called pink strawberry cream or something like that so i got those to put on top but i'm really excited to use those i just heard so many good things about them another thing i wanted to share with you i feel like these are so hard to show on the camera is this play gym from finn and emma it's 100 percent organically grown it's non-toxic and safe you can adjust the height remove these toys in here and you can clip them on to their car seat or anything else um, it says high chair strollers and they're wooden teethers and hand knit rattles. I think this is seriously so cute and I love how it's not like super bright in your face. It's just like adorable. I love it so much. Okay, I do have to pee really bad right now. <laughs> so I have some clothes to share with you. Baby clothes and one other thing. But I want to show you guys my stomach really quick because I'm getting um, like my Braxton Hicks right now is kind of acting up so I want to show you what it looks like it's gonna be kind of hard let's see here let me angle you down a little bit so here's my stomach and it just kind of like tenses up um, in certain spots it's not super bad right now look how it's like white right here from like seeing no sun or my belly button see it's so stretched out but I just like it's actually not as lumpy as it usually is when I tighten up but I just kind of get like these oval kind of lumps. So that's my stomach right now. It's getting so big. And you can see my veins just like going all the way down. I can feel one right now. So one baby is, her head's here. She's like this. And then the other baby is laying across. So they're like that. I got some things from uh, Woomby. Woomby, yes. I'm so excited for these. I've um, who do I follow? Lorraine Stanek, if you guys follow her on social media and her YouTube videos. I always watched her pregnancy videos when she was pregnant with her two sons and she always has her sons in these wombies and I, oh, I just love them. They look so comfortable. A soft, stretchy, organic cotton cocooning swaddle. These ones are newborn 5 to 13 pounds and it says that they mimic the womb. So... I haven't opened these yet. I need to wash. I have a couple more things I need to wash. So this is what they look like. They're so tiny. So they just kind of, you know, suck the babies in and the zipper is down here. So I got two of these ones. These two each came with a little beanie. This one doesn't have a zipper. This one is just uh, like a, a sleep sack kind of thing. And then it goes super duper long and you tie it, like you knot it at the ends. So I don't know if you guys have seen these, but they're really cute. And then same thing for this one, but this one is like the more cocoon style. It doesn't have the sleeves. And then it's very long at the end. So again, you just knot it at the end. And this one, this one came on a really cute hanger. Look at the little pearls. So I'm gonna save that. And there's that one. So again, this one's with the sleeves. 
So really cute, really, really soft. And then I got this for myself for the hospital. It is from Pink Blush and it is a robe and it's so pretty. I thought it was just like such a beautiful print. I also ordered a few dresses and then this shirt which I'm wearing. This is just a very soft kind of thin sweatshirt material. It's long sleeves and it has pockets and it goes a little bit below your butt so you can wear it with leggings. And then I did get a couple dresses but the dresses are too small. So I think I'm gonna return them and just get two shirts because I think I can work with shirts more than dresses now. Dresses are really, really hard to fit into. It's it's kind of impossible. So that is everything for today's update. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you guys are pregnant, I hope everything's going well so far for you. Just want to say I appreciate all of you guys so much throughout this pregnancy. It's just been so great to have you guys as a support system. All of your comments, all of your encouraging words, it's been so, so wonderful. So thank you so much. I appreciate you guys more than you know. And um, my little way of trying to give back is by doing my all these giveaways for you throughout this makeup declutter. So if you guys um, follow me on Instagram, that's where I've been posting them. I've done, I think, seven giveaways so far of a ton of makeup. And I have a couple more to do. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for spending the time with me today. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.